It's all about food, fitness, and flamenco today on The Express. On today's show. I have no doubt in my heart and in my mind that it will start from this very community because of the people here. The downtown east side celebrates culture at the heart of the city festival. Grilled cheese sandwiches, fresh and tasty. Snack sharing on the Union Street bike route. Hey guys, you look hungry. You want some sandwiches? I just love them. I love fruit pies and the old custard pie. A culinary family team up to make some of the best pies in town. We keep things basic and simple and, and good. Let's inhale the arms up. And Radha Yoga and Eatery feeds the soul. You know, maybe it's too late for a revolution. You are in the downtown east side. It's never too late. <laughs> See that and more local expression. Welcome to The Express. I'm Melanie Panetta filling in for Johanna Ward and we're getting up close and personal with the downtown east side today, starting with some fabulous food on the bike route. It's the great grilled cheese giveaway. Grilled cheese sandwiches, fresh and tasty. Man with the blue coat, got your name on it. This is the amazing grilled cheese sandwich giveaway. It's not often you'll see a traffic jam on the Union Street bike route, but today there's something making traffic slow down and take a look and a taste. Free grilled cheese sandwiches for people with fur hats on. Grilled cheese is really delicious and so bikers really like it. People who ride bikes love grilled cheese in our minds. So we figured the bike, the bike path was a good place to distribute grilled cheese sandwiches. How's that grilled cheese? It's really good. Yeah, what's your favorite thing about getting free grilled cheese? Oh, that it doesn't cost any money. Hey guys, you look hungry. You want some sandwiches? But why give out grilled cheese with no cause, no petition, and no donation required? The answer can be found in the deserts of Nevada. We wanted to just share with the community. Um, it sort of stems from an original experience that Toby and I both had at Burning Man where we people just share with you spontaneously as part of being part of the community and we wanted to bring it to Vancouver. And it's going farther than just Vancouver. They're live streaming their brand of community building to friends around the globe, but the idea started right here in Strathcona. We were just chatting with people in New York who are actually watching us. What do you think of something like this? Uh, it's really special and it's the kind of thing that happens in our block. What do you like about the neighborhood? Things like this happen. We've come across parades at 7 o'clock on a Friday night. Um, we have a great block party every year. The park's always full of great people. We've had people stop at our table, and then other people have stopped and they've known each other, and they've said, hey, I know you from this place. Hey, like, how's this and this? And they, they all live in this neighborhood and are very cognitive, are the cognizant of who else lives in this neighborhood? It's the most aware place I've been in terms of like residents, uh, res residents knowing each other. Uh, it's not like that in a lot of other parts of the city. It's good. I'm only halfway home, but I needed this cheese snack. It helps a lot. So how's your grilled cheese? It's pretty good. I, I, I love grilled cheese, and when they're free, then why not? I'm Erin Shaw in the downtown east side for the Express. <laughs> The great grilled cheese giveaway is hoping for resurrection in the spring, so head to the 600 block of Union Street bike route to get your cheesy fix. There's plenty of events happening on the downtown east side, especially right now during the Heart of the City Festival. The whole idea behind it is to build community. That's what it's all about. Downtown Eastside is a very rich neighborhood in culture and history. We're an immigrant-based neighborhood, also a very strong native population within the downtown Eastside. We've had some great events. Our opening ceremony was a very special event this year. We had uh, His Honor Stephen L. Point, the Lieutenant Governor of British Columbia, came and we showcased artists from the downtown east side, including the Carnegie Jazz Band, which I'm fortunate to be a member of. We've been 
annual festival, it'll be a high impact festival. It would promote all the arts and cultural and history of the neighborhood and it would be something for the residents to look forward to every year and something that we can invite not only local people but people from outside the neighborhood too. And when I sing the women's warrior song, So one of the purposes of the festival is to build bridges between um, all these people and all these institutions, to create connection, to create relationships, and it's through creating healthy relationships that you create healthy communities. So that's one of the key purposes of the Harley City Festival. The Heart of the City Festival runs until November 7th and there are plenty of events in the city including some flamenco and we'll learn some beginner steps in a bit. But first, Old Fashioned Cafe meets new social media. Bianca Solterbeck takes a look at Acme Cafe. The Acme Cafe is always swinging. And whether it's good food, old fashioned service, or homemade pie you're after, you'll find it here. And that's what we try to do with all of our food is the classics, um, up to date, but without any crazy twists, really. Creative, but still just straight up comfort food. We have a pie request for um, for Sunday. Husband and wife Team Allen and Peggy Hoffman opened their cafe in April and they're here every day. This is it for both Allen and I. This is our full-time job so yeah it's, it's definitely a mom and pop operation. This is my my grandfather's meat slicer. My grandfather's a butcher in northern Saskatchewan. They've got this old-fashioned meat slicer. This one's made in Toronto. It's a beautiful old machine. Slices beautifully. And baking their pies from scratch. I just love them. I love fruit pies and the old custard pies, the old southern pies. So how many pies would you say you bake a week? Uh, we bake six to eight a day for in-house. And if you want to know which pies they're serving up each day, you can join them on Twitter. We've got over 900 followers now, I think, and uh, it's it's interesting because uh, it's it's like word of mouth, but it's like tenfold. We haven't done a lot of conventional advertising. Their customers also send feedback and comments over Twitter. Elle is one of our regulars, and she lives up. And she's buying a space directly above us, and yeah. she's uh, joking about how she's going to send a pulley system down from the front so we can put pie up. Both Alan and Peggy say they love having a business in the downtown east side, and they can't imagine starting their cafe up anywhere else. Uh, we like the history of the area. We wanted to be in a place that had history, the building had history. We wanted to have some place that felt like it had been there a long time. I saw this great old photo of uh, an old delivery van for a, a pie company and their, their slogan was, nothing fancy here, and I thought it was hilarious. We keep things basic and simple and, and good. So if it's old-fashioned food and service you're after, but with a modern twist, you can have your pie and eat it too at the Acme Cafe. I'm Bianca Salterbeck in the downtown east side of the Express. Alan and Peggy have worked in the restaurant industry for years, and the husband and wife team knew if they opened their own, they'd live to tell about it. You're watching the Downtown Eastside Special on the Express, and we got lots more coming up. After the break... And just focusing on your breath, relaxing into the moment. Rada feeds your soul and your stomach. We always try and stay as seasonal as possible. We, we do change our menus regularly. <laughs> And the cafe is giving back to the community. Potluck's mission is to create training and employment opportunities for downtown Eastside residents. You're watching local TV on the Express.